Good evening and welcome to live streaming worship here at Emmanuel Episcopal Church. My name is Father David Bumstead. I'm the rector here. Great to be with you over the internet on this 14th Thursday after Pentecost. Well, uh, tomorrow is Friday, of course. We'll offer Compline and, uh, and the Litany tomorrow, which seems fairly appropriate as we remember uh, September 11th. Uh, but tonight we'll uh, offer evening prayer, right one, as we often, or as we generally do on weeknights. Uh, and do pay special attention to uh, the, the saint that we remember from the Episcopal Church in our, in our description uh, this evening. So I would, that's another really good Google, just as, just as much as Constance and her companions were. I think uh, Father uh, Crummel is an, another worthy uh, use of your search bar. So go ahead and take a look at uh, his life, his ministry, and, and uh, how he changed uh, so much for the ministry of the Episcopal Church during his life. Alexander Crummel. Check that description. Uh, it'll be worth your while. All right, let's pray. Let my prayer be set forth as in thy sight as the incense, and let the lifting up of my hands be an evening sacrifice. Let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. And we have done those things which we ought not to have done. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare thou those who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto mankind, in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant you absolution and remission of all your sins, true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. O gracious light. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven. O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed. Now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing thy praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thou art worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. The psalm appointed for this evening is Psalm 96 on page 725 of the Book of Common Prayer. Psalm 96. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the whole earth. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is more to be feared than all gods. As for all the gods of the nations, they are but idols. But it is the Lord who made the heavens. O oh, the majesty and magnificence of his presence! O oh, the power and splendor of his sanctuary! Ascribe to the Lord your families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord honor and power. Ascribe to the Lord the honor due his name. Bring offerings and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Tell it out among the nations. The Lord is king. He has made the world so firm that it cannot be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens rejoice, and, the earth, and let the earth be glad. Let the sea thunder and all that is in it. Let the field be joyful and all that is therein. Then shall all the trees of the wood shout for joy before the Lord when he comes, when he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen.
reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Some men came down from Judea and were teaching the brethren. Unless you are circumcised according to the custom of Moses, you cannot be saved. And when Paul and Barnabas had no small dissension and debate with them, Paul and Barnabas and some of the others were appointed to go up to Jerusalem to the apostles and the elders about this question. So, being sent in their way by the church, they passed through both Phoenicia and Samaria, reporting the converse conversion of the Gentiles, and they gave great joy to all the brethren. When they came to Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church and the apostles and elders, and they declared all that God had done with them. But some believers, who belonged to the party of the Pharisees, rose up and said, It is necessary to circumcise them and to charge them to keep the law of Moses. The apostles and the elders were gathered together to consider this matter. And after there had been much debate, Peter rose and said to them, Brethren, you know that in the early days God made choice among you, that by my mouth the Gentiles would hear, should hear the word of the gospel and believe. And God, who knows the heart, bore witness to them, seeking, giving them the Holy Spirit, just as he did to us. And he made no distinction between us and them, but cleansed their hearts by faith. Now therefore, why do you make trial of God by putting a yoke upon the neck of the disciples, which neither our fathers nor we have been able to bear? But we believe that we shall be saved to the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, just as they will. Here ended the lesson. Magnificat. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath showed strength with his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath hope in his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers, Abraham, and his seed forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to John. When Jesus came to Bethany, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb four days. Bethany was near Jerusalem, about two miles off, and many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to console them concerning their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went and met him, while Mary sat in the house. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you'd been here, my brother would not have died, and even now... I know that whatever you ask from God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise again. Martha said, I know that he'll rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord. I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, he who is coming into the world. When she'd said this, she went and called her sister Mary, saying quietly, The teacher is here and is calling for you. And when she heard it, she rose quickly and went to him. He rendered the reading. Nunc dimittis. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. 
He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages be. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, we entreat thee, O Lord, that thy holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill, we entreat thee, O Lord, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses, we entreat thee, O Lord, that there may be peace to thy church and to the whole world, we entreat thee, O Lord, that we may depart this life in thy faith and fear, and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ, we entreat thee, O Lord, that we may be bound together by thy Holy Spirit in the communion of all thy saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ, we entreat thee, O Lord. Almighty and everlasting God, we thank thee for thy servant Alexander Tomlin, whom thou didst call to preach the gospel to those who are far off and to those who are near. Raise up, we beseech thee, in this and every land evangelists and heralds of thy kingdom, that thy church may proclaim the unsearchable riches of our Savior, Jesus Christ, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus, stay with us, for evening is at hand and the day is past. Be our companion in the way, kindle our hearts and awaken hope, that we may know thee as thou art revealed in scripture and the breaking of bread. Grant this for the sake of thy love. Amen. Let's pray the first collect for mission on page 70. O God and Father of all, whom the whole heavens adore, that the whole earth also worship thee, all nations obey thee, all tongues confess and bless thee, and men and women everywhere love thee and serve thee in peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now, brothers and sisters, as we do uh, at evenings, we can add our intercessions and thanksgiving to, to my own here and wherever you are. If you'd like to share some in the comments of this video, please do. If it's uh, Just put those right in uh, the text box. Hit enter. Thank you. Jesus, we give you thanks for the many blessings of this day. <clears throat> Pray for all those who are sick, especially for those that are sick with uh, and suffering from coronavirus. We ask that you would bring them your care and healing. I pray especially for my friend Caitlin, who is uh, ill from Bring them, O oh Lord, the light of your wisdom and the strength of your resolve so that they may tend to their charges with peace and care. We pray for all students, teachers, and staff at schools and institutes of learning. Watch over them, O oh Lord, protect them, enlighten their minds, subdue their wills, open their hearts for the work of education. We pray, O oh God, for those that have lost their jobs or had their livelihoods otherwise compromised. Draw them close to you, O oh God, that they might find the end of their work is in your service. We pray for all who have died, especially those that have died as a result of coronavirus. May light perpetual shine upon them. 
the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, then unworthy servants, do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace, for the hope of glory. <clears throat> and we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication unto thee, and has promised to thy well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, thou wilt be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Thanks again for joining me tonight. Hope you all have a wonderful Thursday evening. Look forward to being with you once again tomorrow evening at uh, 5 o'clock Friday night. All right. Take care.